Hi everybody, Rita here with Jim Marie Scrap Shack. Um, <clears throat> this is just a pink journal I made. It's very girly. And um, I kind of made it just like... My friend Michelle Michelle, <laughs> Michelle sent me this fabric and I thought, oh, I would love to make a journal out of that, so I'm going to make a pink journal. And it's all about faith. And so, um, let's begin. <laughs> That's a tsunami's, um, you know, a... Um, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Library card. Oh my goodness. Oh. So some of my new faith stamps, I stamped on a grocery bag and then I tore them out. And then I Mod Podge glitter all around them. So a lot of it has, you'll see those throughout the book for that theme of faith. This paper is all Kool-Aid stained. and um, Or coffee stained, both. I have both in here. There's little tiny prayers tucked in every little nook and cranny, and um, I was going to keep this for myself, and you know what? God laid it on my heart to give it away, and um, I thought of someone who's very sweet, and um, I noticed the other day she posted that she's ready to meet Jesus, and I, I say that all the time, like, this world can be so harsh that um, I'm ready, like, when it's my time, I will be ready. I don't want anybody to ever be sad that when I die because I'll be ready to go. But this book is made all about faith, and it's pink, and it's really, really girly. And so I decided to give it to my friend Carrie Kale. And um, I, I told her to promise me that she'll write in it. And um, she's excited. I don't think she said she's ever got happy mail. So, And I'm, I'm glad to send it to her. I hope she'll love it. There's lots of little spots, and she'll find them all once she has a chance to go through it. But, um, like I said, it's mostly about faith. Um, if I remember correctly, Maddie was with me the day we made this, uh, the pink paper. And, because she likes pink. <laughs> but, yeah, there's lots of little, there's some um, vintage wallpaper in here she can journal on. There's a tag. I think the tag, it fits in kind of tight, but it does come out, so but I'm just going to leave it in there. Some more wallpaper. There's a little pocket. There's another one I just folded in half. I can't remember where I got that. It was a digital. Um, there's lots of little angels in here. Uh, another pocket. These little flowers right here came from Michelle, too. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle Jenkins. Um, she's so sweet. She's always sending me happy mail. <laughs> she made this, by the way. This is beautiful. And I don't know, I hate to part with it but because she made it for me, but I've got a big old long piece. So I put a piece in here, Michelle. I hope that's okay with you. I'm sharing with Carrie. <laughs> I'm sure Carrie will love it. I think it's beautiful. There's some doilies, lots of stamps, some more of the vintage wallpaper. Just, you know, I kind of just threw whatever in here just to make it where she could journal on it. Um some little coffee cups right here that are pink. I put this book belongs to Carrie Kale. I told her today that I'm sending it to her. Uh, the day I finished putting the book together was November 24th, but then I added all the embellishments and I'm sending this out to her tomorrow, which is December 10th. I hope she loves it. And I hope she writes in every nook and cranny. I, I think that's like so important to think like I want you to put your story in here, Carrie. I want you to write prayers in here. I want you to write whatever you want or add pictures, but you have to use it. <laughs> you have to promise to use it. I, I kind of get upset when I, I give a book to somebody and then, you know, a year or two later, I look and I say, well, did you use your journal? And they say, oh, no, it was too pretty to write in it. No, that's not what junk journals are about. You need to use them. <laughs> so enjoy it. I hope you love it. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody. Merry Christmas.